Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy. I'm Robin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kathy grew over. I did. I grew. Yeah. Um, today we have a fun little pro a product that I found at um, Kroger. Yes. For $9.99. It's Piggy Pop. You want pigs in a blanket? A fun, cute way yeah. to make them. I think it's a little gimmicky. Fun. It'll be fun. The silicone tray. The silicone tray. My sister-in-law's book. My sister-in-law's love pigs. My love, sister love piggies, loves so. loves pigs too. So and yeah, when she got married, her husband finally had to cut her off. It's like no more pigs. <laughs> We're done with pigs. No more piggies. So we are gonna try the traditional pig in the blanket. Well, sort of. We're gonna do the cornbread, so it's more like a corn dog. Yeah. And then um, we're gonna try a couple other things because it has a little recipe book with it. Mm -hmm. and there it is. Yeah, so all kinds of little ideas. We are going to get started and I will go back down. <laughs> <laughs> go down safely. That's so funny. Okay, so it says to spray it. And I did try these last night, so. <laughs> so our mix <laughs> is exploding. Our um, cornbread mix. I have the lid for this. You can use a cup or whatever. I just thought it would be easier to to get it in here, but maybe not. Because the trick is not to overfill them, because then they don't look like a pig at all. So we'll see. So I tried it with pancake mix yesterday, and that worked. It. It's hard to tell what they are really. Like? Like what, if it's, it's pig. Yeah. If I do make pigs in the blanket, I use a crescent dough. Right, that's what, I, yeah. Um, so my husband thought they kind of needed like syrup with it. Because it was pancake. Because it was pancake. Right, I agree with that. So this will probably be more like a corn dog. Like you could add, mustard. dip it in mustard, right? Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. So, cocktail weenies. Cocktail! From. I still thought nothing, just your hand. But that's okay. From you know where? Aldi. Yeah. All right. So, it's like these are pretty big. All right. I mean, as far as the pan, it almost seems like the pan should be a little bigger. To hold these, because it's like, I don't think it's gonna cover the bottom, you know? Is this, well, I mean, a typical, yes, it wraps around, but that's not gonna happen here. No, it's not. It's gonna come up around it, I guess. We'll see. Oh, yeah. I not haven't really. tried the, yeah. We did the biscuit there. Did the pancake come up around? A little bit. You can still see yeah. it at the bottom. Yeah. in the oven probably about 15 minutes at 400 degrees so I wanted to try some brownies I just used a mix Aldi mix 85 cents Good deal. They look like um, warthogs. <laughs> they don't look like piggies. They look like the warthog from Lion King, so right. that's fun. Right, so yeah, they don't, this one has, some have good detail. It's really hard to see. Okay. No, the nose, I mean, it's, it's like hard. Little oh, but you can eat the little head off. <laughs> Did you just eat his nose? I eat a little head. It's a very good brownie mix. 
Mm. And I actually like this because mm. it's like around the edges, you get mm. like an edge the piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, would I, always, would I always make brownies like this? Probably not. But if it was for a special occasion, something fun to do. Right. Um, if you have a pig lover in your life, this would definitely be a cute gift for them. Mm -hmm. It's a good brownie. It's a really good brownie. I mm -hmm. wish it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Something else I decided to try was just a cake mix. Plain cake mix, Aldi cake mix, 85 cents. They look like nothing. The idea is you gotta get the right amount in there. Cause, let's see. Yeah, we got all kinds of sizes over here. So this one was a little under. That looks all right, but this one, you can see it going around the edge. All right, this one, it goes around the edge. So, and you really can't but tell. But this does not look like a pig or a no. warthog or anything. You can kind of see the nose. I, I'm that guy. They're a funny color because I added some food color. I thought they would be rain, rainbow pigs. Because, <laughs> I mean, we see those every day. Yeah. We, we do live in Tennessee. I'm not quite sure why you would make it this way, but I mean, you know. I guess if you, need, if you need bite size, if you need bite size, want to be pigs. <laughs> but the one thing that yeah. is super cute that I did, I used some white chocolate and I colored it pink. Look and these at are the, pretty perfect. Look at those I cute mean, little piggies. I mean, adorable piggies. These would be awesome if you were decorating a cake, if you wanted to. Hello, little piggy. <laughs> if you just wanted to place these on a cake, if you're not for your pig lover. So cute. So I was gonna do chocolate, but I figured that would be hard to see, kind of like the brownie. Mm -hmm. So I think the white or pink, pink. is super cute. So that's what I was most impressed with was this, it's just yeah. to use it as a candy mold. That was super cute. Yeah. So, let me see if these are cool. Oh, yeah. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. But, I mean, you can kind of make it out, but because it, it has all the air, the pot, you know. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, it's yeah. hard to tell. But it's better than the brownie, but I think because the brownie's so... I mean, it's actually better than the yellow it's cake. It's better the than brownie's the yellow. The better. But maybe because it's harder than the cake mix. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, that's true. That's what I was trying to get different consistencies. Because mm -hmm. um, here in this lighting, I mean, you can tell they're little piggies. Like, you can definitely tell there's a pig noses. And these are easy to come out of the pan. They pop right up. The cake and the browning took a little more, so you gotta let them cool completely first. They're just coming right out. But these are coming right out. But the the other two, you really have to let those cool. And with the chocolate, I just pop those in the freezer for a few minutes to let them sit up. All right. Voila! I mean, that's cute. I mean, like you can definitely tell that this guy right here is a little piggy pig in there. That's really cute. So, yeah. see. Ah, it fell oh, apart. Oh no, what happened? I got eared upside Probably. down. Oh. oh, sorry, what's going on? No. Oh. Huh, yeah, mm-hmm. I just wish it wrapped around more. I'm like, in the photo, uh -huh. in the box. Yeah, everything wraps around there at the bottom. So. I wonder if you could just add more after but you place like, after you place the weenie, but the directions do not tell you to do that. No, and it seemed like it would just overflow, 
And if you have, yeah. if you push it down further, it seems like it comes out the top, kind of like at the neck here. It, you can see it. Oh, right. So if you would push yeah. it down even more, I think yeah. it would come out the top. Yeah, I don't know what the... A bigger mold, I guess. Yeah. Or a smaller dog. <laughs> That's cute. I mean, I didn't mean that. I don't know if I'd be serving this at an adult party, maybe a kid's party. Yeah. But. Unless, like, to surprise my sister-in-laws, like they were coming over for something, oh. and I'd have some little piggies for them just to be like, hey, if I had them old, that'd be fun. But. I'll let you borrow it. Okay. I mean, for $9.99, yeah. it's not bad. Mm -mm. Like I said, I got this at Kroger. It was kind of weird. It was on a display all by itself. Oh. I was like, oh, look at that. The SC on TV has something new out. Yeah. But... Again, these are my favorite. Yeah, things. that's really cute. That would be an easy. And look at, I mean, come on. Look at this booty. <laughs> well, look at that. It's adorable. Little piggy butt. We gonna say Google. Listening. Oh, nobody, nobody, nobody listening. Said, nobody said nothing to you. So. As far as cleaning, it was super simple to clean. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> the chocolate kind of gets stuck in the ears, so you kind of mm. got to scrub a little bit, but it's not too bad. And you can put it in the dishwasher too, so, so it's not, not yeah. terrible. But, um, so I'll give it a thumbs up. It, yeah. It is gimmicky, but it's cute, it's so. Yeah. And it. I give it a thumbs up. You know, don't expect it to look like pigs. Like those. Even things. even like that. I mean. Yeah. I mean, how did those noses and ears get so brown? Even the eye. It's like. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like somebody poked them in to. Well, you could go back around with the toothpick, maybe. Well, I don't think that would no, be more. But, yeah. It's like, it wouldn't, because this is so airy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's cute. It so, is cute. Thumbs up for me. Yeah. So that brings us to the question of the day. Oh. Yes. What was your first car? I don't know this. Oh, you don't? It was a Nissan Sentra. What year? It was um, a 91. Oh, 91. Nissan Sentra, gray. It was an E. Um, and I'll tell you this. It was a four-speed, not a five. It did not have power steering. Oh, boy. <laughs> but I had, had air some, conditioning. Did you have some arm work I had some... <laughs> Biceps. I bet. Like, jeez. Yeah. My brother had power steering. He had a Jeep, so he had power steering, no AC. Oh, I got no power <laughs> steering, but I had AC. So. <laughs> I guess that's. I don't know about to take the AC. I think I might. I took the AC. Yeah, and I just worked on my arms. So mine was an '83 Ford Escort. Nice. I got it for my dad. How many doors? It was two door. Okay. No, no, yeah, it was two door. Okay. And it was a five speed. Yeah. yeah five speed. I think yeah. everyone should learn, I even though to. they're not very common. I don't know anyone that drives. Not a anymore. Sports car. They still like to. Well, yeah, sports you know, car. But, but as far no, as. No, but you know, I miss it sometimes. Yeah, I do too. I, mean, I don't just, think it would be good for kids because that keeps them occupied. They right. couldn't use their phone. They yeah. would have to concentrate yeah. on driving. Yeah. But yeah, so, and then my boyfriend at the time put in a little radio. What in color it. was it? It was gray. Oh, we both had gray cars. That's the same color as my car now. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Um, I think I've had a white car once. My car is black now. Um, but mine was a dark gray, and then the car before that was a really dark, dark green. It almost looked black. So I'm, I'm same thing. I'm, we stick with the same color. I did. He did. My boyfriend's time to put some red tape oh, around, some like detail, the <laughs> some pinstripes. Yeah. So they, you know, you were back in the late eighties, early nineties. That was the it was know, to go yeah. cruising, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, what was your first car? Did you have subwoofers? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> I didn't either. He did. He did. My brother did. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, it was a pretty sad radio, actually. Yeah. But yeah. The face didn't pop off. Right. Yeah. No. So anyway, what was your first car? Comment below. This should be fun. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Please. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.